Let me set the stage for you guys real quick. Past few years of Madden, I've been definitely, you know, struggling. I'll keep it a buck. I've been mid. See right here, Madden 23, I was ranked the 24th best player. And honestly, I don't think I was, you know, even up there. I was only given that rank because of the accolades and the achievements and the hard work I put in the previous Maddens. Even going into this year, I was first term of the year, I struggled. I got 43rd on the ladders and I didn't even make day two. But as the year progressed and I got better and better, started gain momentum. I started to find my stride. I made a nice couple runs, ultimately leading us to here and today. Final MCS tournament of the year for a lot of people. If I make this live event, if I'm able to win four straight Madden matches, I'm able to make the Madden Bowl. You guys know how important the Madden Bowl is to a lot of competitors, the brand, the money. It's ultimately, you wanna make that final tournament of the year. Let's see if I could do it today in these upcoming videos. Follow me along on this journey and let's see if I could get back on track. Okay guys, now that you know the context, I'm gonna be playing a legend in round one in the four potential games I have to win. We're gonna be playing pro legend 804 in a game worth a thousand dollars round is 64 matchup right here uh round one pretty much on the sunday um and you know of course this is pro legend 804 so you know he's been playing for so many years you see right here my opponent he's rocking jalen hurt so this gameplay is a little outdated but don't you worry this is high tier gameplay see right here audibly down first play he's gonna be running three tight end trips you heard that right three tight end trips pro legend 804 if you're in the community you know my man's loves to run some crazy schemes it's right here aaron donald going crazy we play perfect defense in that man aligned dollar versus that you know trips tight end he ran curl flat he missed his reads he had the tight end corner open to aaron donald d-line pick first play and right here it's gonna be an easy cakewalk we audible to that double stack touchdown with todd Gurley. and right here back at it on defense got pacheco with a deep out ko knocking that out and i want you guys to pay attention real quick the peep how much time is up in this top left corner or this top corner 358 you're gonna see this drive absolute demon drive pro legend puts on it's right here third and seven he doesn't care he's running with marshall falk and I'm not even sure what ability X Factor he has, but man, he is towing that pill. Thankfully for us, we had a team advantage. Pro Legend 804, I peeped him. I played him a few times already. Like I said, this is a 1K game, round to 64 matchup. We have to win these games to get into the Madden Bowl to make the live event. Um, so that's kind of some context. Obviously, you heard the intro, but his team isn't that great. I played him a few times. I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't really need Rundy. I knew he was going to run this. He actually beat a couple players before. I know you guys saw that crazy clip of him versus Showtime, the game winner, man. And of course, I got to play this dude the day after he gets that ad catch for touchdown. So he's really slowing the game down right here. That D-line pick helps quite a bit. We do get ball half. That's really what you want in these type of games to get ball half. But man, I can't stop the run. I thought he was going to go out there passing every play, running bunch tight end, running trips, whatever he may be. This is my first time I ever witnessed... Uh, Pro Legend 804, who I want to, you know, think as a passer, run the ball over and over and over again. And, you know, this is just some, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if he can't pass or what it might be. I usually give Pro Legend his respect and credit. But, man, this dude was running the ball every play. And, like I said, look at how much time has allotted since that, you know, uh, second drive that he had. He had three minutes, 40 seconds, and it's already three minutes, 20 seconds into the second quarter. At this time of moment, I'm kind of tripping out. I'm not going to lie to you, especially after he catches this. I want you guys to peep this KO real quick. Pacheco does light up real quick right there. You see him lighting up, but bro dumbs out. That's why he's not on the field anymore. You know, he gets that deep out for two AP, but bro, he is mid. He's 5'10". He's 94 speed. He doesn't even get zero chill cam. How do you not get zero chill cam, brother? So, you know, we, of course, he's on the kickoff. I, 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 for a sec, I thought he was going to sell me on that. But, you know, we haven't even played offense yet. We haven't even gotten in our groove. If, you know, you know if anything can, can happen. As you see right there, we're going to have to rewind the tape real quick. This is why you pay for that Gronk, even though he's 2 mil. This Gronk right here will be one of my favorite cards for the rest of the year. I hope he does get an upgrade because look at this Vanguard. It's on for like eight plays, I want to say. You just audible to RPO. Boom! Get out the way! Absolutely clears Tariq Woolen. And from there, Julio is just gone all the way to the 20-yard line. Just some cheap yards, man. If you do have that Gronk, I know he's a little outdated now. But, bro, that Vanguard is super OP for RPO runs, for stretch runs. It's pretty much nasty streak. And see right here, what did I tell you, bro? This is one of my favorite cards in the game. I'm kind of upset. 
that he got outdated so quickly man i wanted to use him i wanted to use that our uh, vanguard honestly bro it's it's bum stuff you know it's pretty cheese it's like you know mutt mutt weekend league mutt bum type of stuff is right here we're running a toss with girly i'm thinking in my head we got 96 speed we could beat him to the outside and we can't but you know what girly could do he could fight for your boy real quick man uh this is also another card i'm pretty upset i didn't get to use for much longer it's that todd girly that tg30 because bro was 96 speed on my Buccaneers. I had a Buccaneers 25-25 theme team. I'll try to get a screenshot of my team real quick. Maybe we'll do that going in the future when I get back in my rhythm. Show the team I'm using. Show the abilities I'm using. Show the playbooks and get into the game. But one, let's get back to the gameplay, man. I went on a tangent for a little bit. Hopefully you guys loved you know my insight on what I said. Um, back to Marshall Falk. He goes and man, he is force feeding him. He had Jalen Hurts, who I was kind of happy he was using for reasons like that. Right on cue, overthrowing. I believe that's Julius Thomas. When I told you this dude was pretty much rocking a no money spent team out there, he had Julius Thomas, Marshall Falk, Shannon Sharp at tight end, Andre Reed, Julio Jones. Like I said, this gameplay is slightly outdated. I want to say only about a week, but still, bro, my team clears so much in that regard. And right here, um, the one guy I didn't have a K on. Right here, he's going to pass this. Um, I want to show you the play art real quick. Some nasty play art, man. I'm rocking these safety thirds in this dollar formation. If you don't know how to do that, turn on free safety sub package. Sub in your substitutions. And from here, look, we get a cover three cloud look on the right with a cloud fly on Pacheco. Um, of course, this is literally the only guy on my, my entire like 4 DBs that does not have deep out zone KO. And it would it would have came back right there. It would have knocked that pass out. We would have got the stop. But no, he gets his feet in bounds. And you saw that nasty stat line. Bro was three of six, one touchdown, one pick, 39 yards. Right here, we're trying to get that loop out of that dollar form. And we're just, we can't get it. We can't get it to come in. He is quick hiking us. And right on cue, Fred Warner does scream in. So that's one thing about dollar. It's very hard to quick hike it because you're going to get screamed at. Right here, we kind of play like 30s and 5s. Um, and we honestly play really good defense. We swat it out. But here's the thing. We are not in field goal range. I should have maybe called my timeout a little earlier, but I really didn't want him to get any points. Right here, we do hit that corner route to Tyreek Hill, but bro, we didn't get a, a, a field goal. And why I'm laughing, look at my look at my stat line, bro. I know it might be hard to see. I'm two of three. I want to say that's 73 yards, and it's the second half. That just goes to show if you do get the ball at half, if you play D on your first possession, you could really milk the game out and run these RPOs out of this Eagles playbook, man. Madden, I love Madden right now. You hear my enthusiasm for the game. Um, it's just very fun and very easy, in my opinion, especially with these cards that they're dropping now. The goaded ass cards, they're very expensive. So if you don't got the coin, uh, coin, you know, count, uh, it might be tough. But, you know, we got cards like middle linebacker Gronk. We got cards like, you know, Deion Sanders wide receivers right there. Julio to the Baja. This is another card I wish I could kept on using, bro. He is absolutely fire, man. And I don't know why, like, these cards just got outdated so quickly. Julio has one of the best jukes in the game. If you use that zero chill Julio, you know what I'm talking about. Back to our defense we go. Somehow that's caught. Rasul Douglas, he's okay. You know, he doesn't have any abilities on him. And right now, we're kind of getting quick hikes. So I'm kind of in this mode. Thankfully, he doesn't catch it. That's what you get for using Julius Thomas, legend. Get your team up. Get your coins up. Play some mutt. It's right here. He honestly should have hit us with an interception. Kyle Hamilton with pick artists. I did have pick artists on him. Kind of dumbs out, but man, Kyle Hamilton is a beast in the NFL. Couldn't get it done for us right there. Somehow, some way, Aaron Donald doesn't get the sack, and he's already down to the one. But like I was saying, he started quick hiking us, which he should have been doing all along. And I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie, man. You never want to do this, no matter if you're playing mud head to head, playing in a tournament, PL tournament. You're playing in, you know, whatever it is. You don't want to look ahead, but I started looking ahead. As right there, you see, he's already climbing back, man. Uh, my defense gave him one of the easiest drives. He'd been, like, struggling a little bit, but I'm already looking ahead to my next matchup. Because, you know, you kind of have to do that in these MCS Sundays, man. You got to look, uh, okay, who am I playing next? What's he running? What do I got to do? What abilities do I got to run? But it doesn't matter. We got to close this game out. Tyreek Hill dragged to the 46-yard line. We're in this bunch strong, nasty, man. One of the best formations in Madden 24. It's just such a nice quick hike. You could audible it to it quickly. And then you could just stay in bunch like as we do right here. We end up actually getting sacked. Fred Warner, he finally sends a heat. And, you know, we take it. We take it. We take acknowledgement of that. We're like, okay, bro, you want to send the heat? We're, he's probably going to double up on the heat. And you know what we do? We do a cheese tactic. Todd Gurley, bunch strong. Running back's going to be on the opposite side. High ball wheel route. He's in that cover zero blitz. We take acknowledgement to that. A lot of people try to hit me with this. 
And you know what I do? I just put a wheel route running my running back. It's free yards. It's cheap yards. It ends up being a touchdown sometimes. So he is not able to make the adjustment in time. And, you know, we end up scoring with TG30. It's right here. Marshall Falk. I don't know how, but bro is somehow getting, you know, 10 yards on like a curl route, drag route, those type of routes. Right here, very late read, honestly, but it doesn't matter. Chardarius Ward, bro is getting cooked. He's a niner. You know how I feel about those niners. Right here, Jalen Hurts. I wanted a hit stick. I wanted to end the game so badly. Like I said, this is a 1K game. And he, for some reason, can't get that high ball down to the right side. I'm in dollar right here. Don't do what I'm doing, man. This is not Rundy ever. You see right here, that's the easiest touchdown uh, legend will ever have. So, like I said, he's still hanging in there. Um, pro legend 804. He's a legend in the game. He's, you know, if you were in the Madden community, you know him. He is hanging around, man. He is hanging around. Right here, this is the biggest play of the game. Look what happens. You see it. I see it. We all see it. I'm going to rewind the tape real quick. And we got the zoom in. So we're running wide trail out of the bunch. Strong Nasty. He's in this cover zero blitz. Everyone gets picked up. Wheel route to Todd Gurley isn't open. Corner route might be open, but I'm not taking the risk right there. Drag route his users all over it. And look at Julio Jones. He stops running his route. That's the one complaint I have about Julio Jones. He does this sometimes. So if you have Julio Jones, look to replace him because it, it will cost you. He just stops running his route. I have to show it one more time in full speed because look, bro just stops running his route. Tariq Woolen gets crazy with the acrobat animation. And you see me right there. I, I don't even click on. I'm kind of dist distraught after that because I'm like, bro, why did that just happen? That's me getting cheated. Let's see how I could uh, fight through the adversity if I could even, you know, get my mind around that it's right here i'm not sure what i'm doing on defense i'm containing my d-line like it's madden 22 and i'm not getting no sheds bro i'm sending three every play and thankfully for us legend is just ass right here he does some complete ass shit and just like for no reason at all just throws the ball away thankfully for us intentional grounding right here ko bails us out man very bad user one thing about my user it's been kind of sleep this year um, it's right here. Once more, we have another sleepy user. Why am I giving up more yards on the third down at 24? Just very bad situational Madden. Right here, we do call the timeout. Um, you know, I really want some good defense set up for this fourth and three. I'm not trying to get clocked. I'm just trying to get the stop, get out of here. Once more, we're in dollar. We're in spinner, I want to say. Legend is taking his sweet time, man. His, his old fingers, he don't know what to do. He decides to call the worst play ever. And thankfully for us, we get the job done get the stop but you know we still got to get a few first downs legend bro i don't know what you're doing his he was just thinking what play to call and right here we hit him with a tg30 put the 30s in the chat man tg30 ends the game with that wheel route we're just gonna stay in balance we're gone conservative already don't even don't even i know my situational madden man one thing about me i know how to play a situation like this fine sometimes i do make mental mistakes but who doesn't right here once more stretch we are on conservative tg30 somehow can't run over pacheco bro I don't know how, and it ends up uh, resulting in us having to kick three. So, like, he's in this territory where if he gets seven, you know, he could get an onside kick, and, bro, I might be bounced from the tournament. So, um, you know, definitely kind of pissed that I didn't get that first down. RPO stretches should be free, especially for the look he was giving. But, you know, it's all good. He's going to try to bomb us. Rasul Douglas, I don't know. That's, like, his fourth pick he should have thrown. I don't know how we don't catch that, man. Madden give it, Madden take it. But finally, TJ Watt, we finally get a little bit of sheddage um, right here. He's just trying to hit the seams up, trying to bomb us. Once more, shout out to Legend for, you know, my first round matchup. Um, I feel like it was a great matchup. Obviously, we're going to win this game right here. 25 seconds left, 24, 23. Um, like I said, it was a great matchup for me. I was very ecstatic when I saw the matchup I had. Because those MCS Sundays, man, to make a run, you got to really get a few favorable matchups. This was a favorable matchup. Nothing to tip, nothing to knock on Legend. But I felt like this was just a good matchup for me. We played great D. Uh, we played great offense. We played game manager football. Sometimes that's all you have to do. His team wasn't as on par up to mine. And we got the W. So we'll be going on to round two. Next gameplay will be versus Goat Geezy. We played a Goat in an MCS tournament. Goat Geezy round two. What a game. I can't wait to break that game down for you guys. See you guys in the next video. Once more, we're trying to get back on the YouTube content grind. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys soon.